Now we are having the FMG results which have been declared just recently and I could see that so many students have not qualified as far as the 150 marks threshold was concerned many students have missed it by just few points some by a larger margin and unfortunately they have not made it through and there are so many students who had their second attempt third attempt fourth attempt as well but still they could not go through earlier i have also told you that the question paper of mmg was not that standard and somewhere i could see that the students were very much in a state of distress a bit of despair and not that much hopeful so just for the students who are there they have invested a lot of time five years some six years and some more than that and spent a lot bit of money some students have gone to countries like malaysia bangladesh ukraine other parts of russia i mean to say philippines china and unfortunately they could not go through this need this FMG and especially it is important because they cannot go for the neat PG examinations as well so a lot of time has been wasted but I would just uh, I just am in very much line with them as far as they are I mean to say they must be totally devastated and uh, morally uprooted but you have to start it you have to restart it and you cannot just stop it over here except for rare cases who might just stop it over here so for some of the students who just have to carry it on again there needs to be a radical a revolutionary change in their strategy now what went wrong and that's very important so what went wrong with these students i'm not sure i'm not sure i tell you frankly because two different students would have a different subset of conditions which affect them and it would be some students might have started late i mean to say that wrong timing then you cannot always blame the coaching institutions or the teachers who are there who have tried their best to guide you but unfortunately you could not go it but somewhere i find it a uh, responsibility of the coaching institutions the people concerned whether it's a institution or whether it's an individualized approach that they have not uh, been able to uh, do uh, justice especially once the paper of this sort had come it was a very very i mean to say moderate paper and most of the students should have gone through and 23 percent result is not what these inst institutions should be proud about so they have to retrospect along with the students and they need to change their strategy uh, it might sound bitter to some of them uh, and i know that it has turned as a commercial entity but more important than that is the future of the students at stake and they should take, take it their responsibility as if they are their own children so that's important now again the choice of q banks i mean to say the books which have been there what they are reading uh, uh, part a very deliberate i mean to say some students are so much i mean to say involved in this social media youtube instagram facebook wasting a lot of time on unnecessary videos getting influenced by people have having false followers people of not that magnanimous attitude as far as medical education is concerned and just going by uh, the advertisements and joining classes coachings and all those things no you have to study yourself that should be i mean to say the bottom line so as far as uh, i'm on the part of the students to have shortcuts to success i have seen that some people might be lucky very few of them to get through but majority of the students they are not that lucky and it is not it's a highly competitive examination these days and you cannot go through by sheer luck or chance so that is very important so avoid shortcuts to success so you have to sit together take a bit of a rest take a bit of a, i mean to say outing and then reassemble yourself readjust yourself and revitalize uh, your revitalize yourself and have that energy have that i mean to say courage 
to just go it and begin it as a fresh so that would be my advice now these students who have been calling me right and left and then messaging me and telling me what to do so in a one uh, day it has not been even a day it has elapsed and they would just be very very much crazy enough to just go on and i would be telling them some uh, i mean say iv dose which will help them in going and getting success no there is nothing like that a student has to work on his own no shortcuts no social media no influencing by the uh, i mean to say this false pseudo uh, advertisement agencies and all those things you have the burden and the burden is to be borne by you nobody else so number one is that you have to start at the right time you should give at least six seven months to the preparation minimum 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 especially once the students from fmg who i know have not had a good clinical exposure in their hospitals at any place let's be very frank enough about it that uh, people in uh, our here in india have got a good exposure to their clinics clinical rotations and it is not useless it is very very beneficial to have an idea of a uh, i mean say patient bedside awards rounds or pdg you learn a lot it is not only the books which you which teach you so it is important to have the clinical round especially interns and per people who do house job they fare very well but unfortunately some of the students in some of the colleges unfortunately outside they do not get a good clinical exposure and that's what kills them they think that books books and books that will only help cure banks online courses no that doesn't help it is the clinical rotations the clinical sense which you develop and the amount of hard work you put in and taking your things very seriously regularity punctuality obedience are all the matters uh, i mean to say uh, which lead to your success these are the bottom lines number one number second then giving time to major subjects many students waste time on uh, i mean minor subjects and that does not uh, do well i mean to say that subjects like medicine surgery anatomy preventive and social medicine pathology they are very very important as you could see in the last few years questions that uh, papers there was a large chunk of questions from these subjects you cannot ignore them and then this uh, problem with the students reading those uh, stereotyped books of decade back pyqs previous years questions and thinking that a question which has been asked 10 years back will be repeated again that is the major some books who have been there for the last 10 years and still studying the same pyqs you will not be benefited much yes there might be a repetition of 10 to 20 per is a good chunk but you can get them from any good book there is no need of just relying solely and wholly on pyq books that's very important now minor subjects cannot be neglected you have to give time to them dermatology i mean to say ophthalmology orthopedics radiology you get a good chunk of questions from these minor subjects and all is you have to give a fair share of time to them but not as much as major subjects so you have to read anatomy surgery physiology spm medicine medicine and subspecialties especially pediatrics gynae ops you have to give a lot of time to them and then get acquainted with the latest type of question bank you have you cannot uh, because there are some questions which are asked from clinical scenarios there are some questions which are asked as image based questions and uh, lab based values so that's very important and ibqs are important but uh, you have to remember that you have to have a figure based memory as well so sections cross sections radiographs uh, uh, ecgs uh, treatment modalities you have to deal with uh, one liner cells yes they are also asked and you cannot just solely cram up this uh, neat uh, PG and FMG examination and you have to be now coaching uh, different coaching institutions I will not go but coaching institutions will promise you and how much they will deliver I will not comment on that part but the student has to rely on his own uh, and do things as per his own timetable as per his own programming and coaching institutions cannot study on your behalf let's be frank uh, study at home that would be my advice to save time a lot of time is saved by the study at home and clinical classes as i mentioned rotations even if you have to do it on a voluntary basis join the clinical rotations so that's important so with these uh, things i i think that i have given you enough i mean to say uh, guidelines uh, hopefully i will be coming up some important matter uh, i uh, i mean to say what how you prepare and uh, many of the students who want have my assistance i'm all they're always welcome to just mail me or just to contact me and i will be uh, sharing my credentials along with you the video so wish you best of luck next time don't be disheartened thanks a lot